about a month, well, okay, maybe two, maybe three months ago. I don't know. I have no sense of time since the pandemic began. It's magical shifting of all of my sense of time. Okay, so it was a fairly short, longer than a couple of weeks time ago. I got a message. The message was, can you help me take this wall and turn it into an aged whitewash brick wall? It's poured stamped concrete, um, you know, with brick shapes already in it. So before I move on, I want you to see the before and after because it is indeed such an easy process. And if you have a teeny bit of crafty painter in you, I know that you can do it. Super easy. Uh, my little helper was with me. She's seven and she actually even helped me paint, did a great job. So stick with me and you'll see just how stinking easy this really is. So my answer to the question was, of course I can. But here's the catch. I was told you don't need to do it. Just tell me how to do it insert the sound of a needle scratching a record here, followed by crickets. Whenever that happens, it doesn't end well. So I tried, I went ahead and explained how I would do it if I were to do it. Yeah, not gonna go well. I felt my eyeballs already knowing that if I was gonna look at it later, I was going to regret it. <laughs> and, and that um, not begging to do it right then and there was going to be a regret. So flash forward to last week, I get this picture. Dear, everything that I have in my being that may keep me from losing my mind, please hold me together. When I saw this picture, I responded, uh, and I quote, uh, what am I looking at? Then it was explained to me that I was looking at the first part of the process that I had explained. And now you know why I don't do full on, straight up tutorials on this channel. My words were something like, okay, pick at least three colors of brick paint and sponge them on the face of the faux brick that's stamped on the concrete randomly. That's how I explained how I would start the first part of the process. I communicated to person one, they told person two, and voila, he did exactly what he heard. So I saw the picture and I kindly asked them, please stop. I ran immediately over there to the place that this guy was painting as not to waste any more of his time. Again, he did nothing wrong. He did exactly what he was told. He took the colors and he randomly placed them on brick. So he did, you know, three colors. He had a green, red, and a brown. And he put a green here, a red here, and a brown here. And he mixed up the colors on each brick. And this was the result. No amount of faux whitewash was gonna make it look like anything but a children's show about a certain street. So I told him to just continue the pattern that he had, but not to solidly paint. So just put a little bit of that color on the brick, just kind of where the paint ended up. Um, I showed him how to do that, much more effective than me trying to explain via text. Um, so wherever that paint landed on each brick, then I would come in later because I was gonna then convince my friend to go ahead and let me finish it. Um, that I would come in later and I would put a little bit of each color on each brick to kind of make it actually look like brick and not just like a solid color. So I showed him that, um, and then I convinced my friend. Also, that guy had plenty of other maintenance and odd jobs that he does. It wasn't like I was taking anything away from him. Trust me, I asked. I'd never want to do that and take a job away from anybody as, you know, me doing a favor for somebody and taking a real job away from someone. Okay, flash forward. Two days ago, um, I started doing that, adding the addition of random colors. I came in and I used like a lightly, um, uh, a, a dry brush a paintbrush with just a little bit of paint on it. And I stippled and stroked here and there to make the brick look a little bit more like variegated in color brick. The concrete color can show through. That's fine because we're gonna paint white over it anyway, especially in the mortar lines. It's gonna be the base of the faux white wash. Anyway, so in two hours I had done that and turned the kids show into more of a brick wall. And then I went home. I let that dry, came back two days later and I started to whitewash. Not really whitewash, but it was supposed to be an old whitewashed wall, not actually freshly whitewashed. So again, I used a dryer brush here and there. I dabbed and stroked, and then I did use water to thin some white paint that I kind of dirtied up. I used a little bit of gray, a little bit of brown here and there to antique it, and used it as an actual wash in some place and then dabbed some off. I even used paper towels in my dabbing, like whatever, was there handy that I kind of, I kind of like the look sometimes of dabbing a paper towel on. That's not a textured paper towel that has flowers printed in it, but paper towels sometimes will give you um, a little bit more texture than a brush. It doesn't look like a brush. 
It actually looked more like brick in this instant. So my goal was to leave enough brick showing through that it looked worn. And my plan was that once I got the whitewash where I wanted, I would go back in and I would stipple a little more brick color on in the areas that I wanted to be more worn looking. However, once I did that, it was too much. Um, the space isn't supposed to be perfection. It's supposed to just be a fun little space. It's a closed off area that's going to be filled up with junk anyway. Uh, just sort of a cool backdrop for the room. There are going to be some faux beams in the sides there where you see the corners and shelving. So once I started re-bricking, if you will, I felt like it was overkill. I packed up and I moved on. In total, the four walls took me about seven hours, including prep and store runs um, for any supplies that I needed. And I did need supplies both days. So I think that the before and after here show a complete and total success. It does look like an old antiqued brick whitewash wall. We covered up the children's puppet show and we turned it into antiquey goodness. All in all, it was fun. Good, effective project. And easy enough that anyone can do it.